I'm going to make blueberry cheesecake bars. In one of our previous recipes for the fudgy uh, bars, I made a base. And this is the exact same base. I told you at that time that there are many different things that you can put on it. You can put pecan filling on it. Um, you can put lemon fillings on it, whatever. This is going to be a blueberry cheesecake. So I made the crust and I baked it and I'm going to put it aside while I make the topping. Now for the most part, we talked about before that when you bake, you want to have most of your ingredients at room temperature. There are certain pastries that you want very cold. In this one, we want everything warm. Uh, this is room temperature, 16 ounces of cream cheese. And we're going to start that on our mixer to soften it up even more. And I also have two eggs at room temperature, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and some pure vanilla extract. I'll talk about the blueberry topping in a minute. Okay. This time I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I'm going to slowly start adding the sugar. Got that nice cream cheesy smell to it. Okay. I'm going to stop my mixer. I want to scrape down the sides, making sure that all the cream cheese and the sugar get mixed well together before I start adding the eggs. My oven, by the way, is preheating to 350 degrees. Now these don't have to be blueberry bars. These can be strawberry, raspberry, whatever filling you happen to have. I'm using a um, commercial blueberry filling today, which you can get if you have a restaurant supply house in your city. You can go there and most likely they will have this. If you don't, you can just use jarred preserves. Blueberry, again, strawberry, raspberry, whatever flavor you want. Adding the eggs one at a time making sure they get really mixed in well okay. I'm going to do one more wipe down of the sides because I can see the egg oh, that's a hard snap there Okay, see some of the egg on the side that's not getting mixed in. Making sure the bottom's getting mixed in. Got a good stir. And you can see how easy this recipe is. It's just got a few ingredients. Goes pretty fast once you get the base done. You can do the base the day before and keep it in the refrigerator overnight and then finish it off. And when you finish these bars, they're going to keep well up to three days in your refrigerator if they last that long. All right, that's good. Now, here we go with the blueberry filling. Again, like I said, I buy my filling in a restaurant supply place in tubes like this. But again, you can just go to the store and you can just buy regular preserves. And we want to put not too much, probably a cup in total. That's good. And then give it a little spread around. I think I might even put a few more on there, a little bit more. Just top it off with our cheesecake <coughs> mixture. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of lemon zest in here too to the cheesecake mixture. 
I just chose not to today, but you could. And then pour the mixture on top. Mm. It smells cheesecakey already. the ends. And now it's going to go into that 350 degree oven for approximately 30 minutes. I'd start checking it around 25, 26 minutes because all ovens differ. And you want it to get a little puffy in the middle, just slightly jiggly, then take it out and just let it cool completely. Here are our blueberry cheesecake bars hot out of the oven. You can see how they're puffed around the edges and there really is no jiggle and these are done but they're too warm to cut so we have to let them come down to room temperature and I'll show you how we serve them later. Here are the blueberry cheesecake squares. I've had them in the refrigerator for a few hours cooling down and now it's time to serve them. I'm just going to do a little bit along the edge with a nice sharp knife just to make taking them out a little bit easier. It's always that first one that comes out that just never comes out right. Okay, paper towel here to clean it off. And we will cut. Clean off my knife. How big shall we make them? Oh, three, I think, across. Okay, now let's pray they come out. Voila, there are our blueberry cheesecake squares. Ready for serving, you can serve these with a dollop of whipped cream if you want to or you don't have to. And there you go. I hope you enjoy them.